Hey, it's the preacher. Champ's a little excited to see me. Hey, it's the preacher, and today I want to bring you just a real quick video, and I want to talk about spaghetti squash. This is the first time I've grown spaghetti squash, uh, but I have a YouTube channel, so that makes me an expert. <laughs> not, not really. I want to talk to you about when to harvest spaghetti squash. There are four things, and these four things, every, every, everything I looked at to research this, all four things were always there. Number one, you want to harvest your squash when your uh, vines start to die back. And so if you look here, you're starting to see yellow leaves. They're getting real crispy around the edges. If you look at our other squash over here, they're really dying back. Uh, they're starting to drop away from the, the fence, and it's not for lack of water. We just got five and a half inches of rain. It's because they're about done. So when the plant starts to die back, that's one good indicator. The second thing is the color of the squash. Well, now we can really talk about it. It fell off in my hand. The second thing is the color. These start out as kind of a white green color. And then as they get ripe, they begin to turn yellow. Depending on what variety you have as to how yellow they get. The third thing, not only does the vine die back, not only does the squash turn yellow, but the stem gets hard. The stem gets hard like wood. And that's the reason I brought my, uh, my nippers up here because I thought I would have to cut it. But it looks like a squash bug has done the harvesting for me. But the stem will get really, really hard. And when you harvest these, one of the most important things that you need to keep in mind is harvesting and leaving stem intact. These will keep on your countertop for, uh, I've heard four to six weeks. Some people have said six months. Um, it depends on conditions, but they will keep, but you need to keep the stem intact so you hold the moisture inside the squash. So your vines are dying back, your squash is turning yellow, your stem is getting hard, the final thing is the hardness of the outside. You should be able to run your fingernail up and down the outside without scratching the skin. When all of those four things come, this gets hard, the stem gets hard, the vines die back, it turns yellow, it's time to pick. When you pick, you always want to keep a stem on there. You've got to bring yourself a shopper's value bag. You can't put it in a Walmart sack, it won't work. So we come down here, got this little bitty one. That's really small, but it's turning yellow. It meets all the criteria for being ripe. All right, here's the last of these. I think this may be our biggest one. Let me give you a close-up look at it. Kill our little friend the squash bug. You can kind of see the yellowing stripes coming down. The stem has, ooh, it's prickly, but it has no give to it. It's hard like wood. I don't know if you can hear that. The, the, the outer shell is hard and the vine is dying back. Being a winter squash, these are not going to keep producing all summer. They're going to make a crop. The vines are going to die back. You're going to take them. And the reason they're a winter squash is because the squash itself will keep. Whereas a yellow crooked neck squash, if you set it on your counter, it ain't going to keep for six months. It might not keep for six days. It may start looking tired. Let me show you a couple other things while we're here. I don't show these very often, but we're growing birdhouse gourds who also seem to be attracting squash bugs. There's a small one. There's a pretty good size one there, and it's, it's a lot darker green. I think it's ready. I'm going to leave it on there until the vine dies. Here's a cucumber, and it's got a few blooms on it, and a few squash bugs. And then here we have a tomato, and I really don't know what kind it is because it was growing in the tray with the cucumber, and we decided to let it go and see what happened. So we've got green tomatoes. They're kind of small. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if it's a seed that we have or if it was a seed that was in the soil we bought. And then, of course, on the end, the loofah gourds, which are just starting to make flowers. I haven't seen them bloom yet. 
they are just now starting to bud out and put out some blooms which is exciting because up to this point they're just a vine anyways we got stuff to do places to go people to see squash to keep on the counter if you keep this cool you keep it in a uh, relatively dry area keep a long time we're not going to keep it for six months it'll be lucky if it lasts six days we like the stuff so thanks for watching and i think we got the rain i probably won't do any fishing videos because everything's kind of flooded i'll probably be doing garden videos for the next week or so um, just because tomatoes are getting ripe and i got some work to do in there so thanks for watching i'll uh i'll see you in the garden next time <laughs>